Right now, Colorado lawmakers are just about to wrap up their first day back in session. One day, uh, we saw dramatic speeches, we saw new proposals, we even saw protests outside the Capitol. Denver 7's Megan Lopez was on scene all day long, so I guess if today's anything to go by, this is going to be a lively session. Yeah, it certainly could be, Shannon and Ann. I mean, Democrats and Republicans that I spoke with today both have kind of a clear idea of how they would like this legislative session to go with the things they would like to see done. But keep in mind, it's an election year, so things could get really hectic around here. The first day of the legislative session here at the Colorado State Capitol is sort of like the start of school. Catching up with old friends, not a bell, but a gavel, even a roll call. Crowder, Danielson. This year, though, promises to be another busy one. Inside, all the pomp and circumstance you'd expect from the opening of session. Outside, patients must be fully informed. A crowd of protesters talking about all the things they don't want to see over the next 120 days. From forced vaccinations to gun control, their bottom lines spelled out in a single sign. All of us have had an experience with a public education teacher who stepped into our life in a meaningful way. Back inside, Republicans from both chambers gathered together to highlight their priority wrapped up in a single word, education, with plans to introduce about 20 bills to help schools. Every teacher across this state invests in their students. While Democrats are just ready to get to work. Protecting our environment, lowering the cost of health care, and providing economic security for families. Underlying all of this, questions about whether this session will be as contentious as the last, particularly in the Senate. I'm not worried about it. I mean, I think now we, we have better intel and we know sort of what their strategy is. Hopefully we've learned from last year and, and this year we'll run, run a little smoother. Also this time around, a potential wrinkle for Democrats. Senator Lois Court is resigning amid health concerns and I'm going to be having a baby in a few weeks, bringing the Democrat majority in the Senate down to 17. Of course, it raises uh, strategy concerns and, you know, some complications and we'll be able to work through that. And if the first day is any indication, it's going to be a busy legislative session. We'll be fighting for our communities. So certainly plenty more to come and we'll be following all of it throughout this legislative session. Coming up tomorrow, Governor Polis is going to be giving his state of the state address and you can count on Denver 7 to be there to bring you a wrap up. I'm live in front of the Colorado State Capitol, Megan Lopez, Denver 7.